Hi, my name is Chuck Rosenberg, and I'm a computer vision researcher at Google working on image search. I'm here to announce the launch of our similar images feature. Let's say I do a search for Jaguar. I get results for both the car and the animal. Using the similar images link, I can get just the results I want. I can look at pictures of just the Jaguar's face or cool pictures of the car on the road. Let's see what some other members of the team are searching for. Hi, Jingbin. Hi, Chuck. What are you searching for? Oh, I'm just searching for a picture of Brad and Angelina Jolie. Nice. Yeah. So now I can find picture with Brad on the left and also picture with Brad on the right. Very cool. Yes, you know, I have to keep up with my celebrities. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. OK. Yeah. Bye bye. See ya. Oh, hey, Chuck. Hey, Sarah. What are you working on? Well, I'm testing how our feature works with landmarks. OK. I just typed London. Uh huh. And then I clicked similar images to see more pictures of the Tower Bridge, mm -hmm. Big Ben, okay. and the London Eye. Hmm. I could use that to plan my next trip. Hmm. I wonder what Eric's up to. I'm going to check that out. OK. Bye. See ya. Oh, hey, Chuck. Hey, Eric. How's it going? Great. What are you looking at? I'm using our new similar images feature to look for watches. I really like watches with black faces, mm -hmm. kind of like this one here. The nice thing about similar images is not only do I see my regular search result, but I see images on the top that allow me to refine my search. I think I like this one with the black bezel even more than the last. Hmm, I'm not so sure I like it. Well, at least you admit you like the ability to modify your search on the fly. Definitely, that's really convenient. Well, I hope you've gotten a good sense of our similar images feature. We hope you'll give it a try.